Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can create a database in MySQL Workbench and how we can create tables and enter data into the table. First open your Workbench and here as you can see I already have a connection. So I am connected to this database. I'm not connected to it but I have saved this connection. If you don't have a connection saved here or if you're not connected to database what you can do is you can just click on databases and you can click on connect to database and enter the credentials here but we will not cover that in this tutorial. You can check the link in the description. It will show you how you can connect to a database server from Workbench. Okay, so once you have a connection, click on the connection and your MySQL editor will open for that connection. Now here, you'll see list of databases here. So there's only a default database in this connection for now. So what you can do is click on database and, sorry, not database, you can click on this icon here that says create a new schema in the connected server. So right now we don't have any databases in the server. So this is was first server, right? So this is one of our MySQL servers. So if there are multiple MySQL servers, you'll see a list of connections here. But right now I've been connected to this server. So we will create a database in this server. Okay, so click on this and you will see this new schema. So this is actually a database. So let's call it users. Okay, and just click on apply. And this is what will be created. Click on apply, click finish, and this will be created. Okay, now you can close this. So right now we have a database called users and there are no tables in this. So to create a table, just right click on this and click on create table. And let's call it user details. Okay, now this is the table name and you can create columns in this table by let's say clicking here. And first we will create an ID, which will uniquely identify any column, any row in this table. I'll just show you what I mean in just a second. And let's say we'll have name and let's say last name. Okay, let's say this is all we have here. Now when you do ID, when you name a column ID, it will automatically be set to primary key and not null. Okay, now click on apply and if you want to study the query this is what is run when you do this create table users dot user details that means user detail table inside users and create a column called id which is integer and not null and create a, a column called last name a column called name and then set the id column this one as the primary key click apply click finish and now if we click on this arrow next to tables you will see there is a user details table. Okay, now if you click on this button here, you will see that there is nothing in here. So now what you can do is, let's see how we can insert data into this table. Now to insert data, click on this insert new row button here. And here you can press one and then hit tab. Let's say last name is uh, Smith and the first name is John. Again, hit tab and id is 2, last name is Doe and first name is John again. And now if we are done, we can just click on apply here. And these are the queries, insert into user, dot user details, id, last name, name, and the values that you can see here. Okay, click apply and click finish. Okay, now if I, if I close this and if I click on this here again, this time as you can see, we have two data here. Okay, and now you can just select one, okay, this one or this one, and click on delete here. So this uh, this arrow next to the row is mean this means that this row is selected. If I click on delete, this row is deleted. Click on apply, and delete from user user details. This is the query that will be run. Click on apply, and now we only have one data in our table. So now if I close this and you want to see the details of this table like what are the rows what are the columns you can click on this i and as you can see you will have all these options here columns indexes and so on and if you click on the settings this will be create this will be shown that this that was shown when we first created it from here we can set name to not null name uh, name or last name both to not null and set them unique so that it cannot save two same last names and so on and if you are done with this, just click on apply. So this is how you can create tables and create databases. 
in MySQL Workbench. So if you want to create a new table, just right click again and click on create table. And let's call this user addresses. And again, we'll add one column, call it ID, and other column, street name, other column, let's call it country, and so on. Just click on apply, click on apply, finish. And here, if I click on this arrow, as you can see, two tables are created. So this is how you can create database and tables in MySQL Workbench. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.